welcome back for another Risen Fly tying video. Today I'm going to be tying the Sulfur Paragon. This is a great fly to um, dry dropper with, with a emerging sulfur or even an adult for that matter. We're done and um, it's also a great one to start dragging through when the temperatures start to rise and we're a couple weeks away from sulfur hatches or even after when the fish are uh, still tuned into this particular nymph. Now not all sulfurs and all bodies of water um, hold this color. They do have variations of them because different habitats uh, produce different outcomes. But this is a fly that will sink fast and looks pretty darn good uh, once you're finished with it. So let's get at it. So we're tying this a size 169240. I'm putting a three millimeter bead on here but you do not have to do that. You can use uh, whatever size of bead you want or do a beadless. There's no need for a bead. I just tie a lot of mine with beads because I choose to not use split shot when at all possible. Uh, thread color doesn't matter here because it's not going to show through the material I put on it and I'm not using a hot spot. But what you do want to do is you want to secure that bead down. You don't want it wobbling around. Um, so you put a little bit of a taper and build up a ramp uh, right behind that bead until you see the bead stop moving like that. Then you can take your thread and take it to the back. Just to the bend of the hook right there. And then for my tail material I'm going to use a medium part on a Coke de Leon. I love this stuff because it's a nice stiff fiber, it's variegated, it's very realistic looking and I always judge the length of my tail fibers to the depth of the bend of the hook. It just seems like an appropriate way to do it. And I kind of put it on there crosswise, put a couple in, kind of look at it before I tighten it down much and get it to where I want it and then secure it. And then I'm going to cut the excess off. Then we're using a material, I think this is hens. So what it is, it actually comes in a sheet like this and it's tapered so you can make different um, uh, spacing on your, your body and your ribbing. Um, but it's also a tape, which is kind of cool. You'll see it as a dark spot, just like a, an actual quill. I'm going to put that on facing up so it'll be towards you I'm going to get that on there and then I'm going to counter wrap or counter spin my thread which this UTC thread will allow me to put a nice touching wraps base down so that when I begin to run this touching wraps and you can kind of tug on this a little bit because it has a little bit of a give and you're bringing it around touching wraps all the way to the bead like that and then let's put a couple locking wraps in there and then go in front of it a couple times and now we're cutting it off now you can see already how cool this material is because of what it does to the um, realism of a fly. I actually prefer the look of actual strip peacock quills, but this synthetic material is just, it's awesome because they make all kinds of colors in it. You get a lot more material for less money than the quills because stripping quills is not an easy feat. So now we're here, we're going to whip finish. One, two, three. Not much needed on there because our next step is we're going to put a coating of thin UV resin over top of this. Not much, just to give us some sheen and some durability. Spin it until you hit it with a light because it's very fluid. Hit it with a light a couple times. 
Now you could stop right here and say, I'm done. You could add dubbing. You could have added a hot spot on there if you wanted for a trigger. I'm actually going to take a little bit of this um, translucent blackish grayish resin and I'm going to put a wing case on there. Just a bubble that essentially is replicating the bubble from the wing case splitting and releasing oxygen. I'll put a little bit more on there because I want a little more of a hump because it sinks into the, the notch. And you got to hit that for a couple seconds. Now you could use um, different types of resin on this to actually make it black because when you discover a nymph in the river systems that has a black wing case that is a clue that it is ready to split and ready to emerge. Looks like we need to hit that a little bit more. Actually it helps if you turn the light on, huh? And there you have it. This is going to sink fast. Throw this under, um, like I said, a dry dropper or run it in tandem with a smaller one or maybe a variation of another bug that's in the water. It's all for Paragon. Enjoy. Risenfly.com and like and subscribe this video. If, if you're tying this fly after seeing this or you have variations of this, tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see your creations.